You're recording. Okay, I'm with you. Let's do this. Let's do this. Hi everyone, I'm Diego from Movie Vlogs. This is Henoveva Christova. <laughs> Just about right. Thank you very much for pronouncing <laughs> my name. It's very difficult for him because it's first time in Bulgaria and he's doing great. It is. How are you? Very well, thank you. What's the new version of Tears Getting Sober <laughs> like? Uh, I like this question, you know, because um, I know that every other country, they are comparing their other entries, their previous entries. And with the EP we released, we tried to kind of uh, avoid this, that people are not comparing with Tears Getting Sober, with, but with the other songs in the EP, and I think we kind of succeeded. But, you know, internally in our team, there were many people who said, wow, this is a better version of Tears Getting Sober, and I hope that people are thinking the same way. The growing mother is getting old. Yep. Unfortunately, Diego, growing up is getting old. <laughs> You're working with Marvin Dittman yep. this year. He's the stage director of Bulgaria for Eurovision 2021. Yes, and we chose him uh, last year. So it was last year and our choice. And we continue to working with him because Marvin is really reading Victoria well. Because with Victoria, we, we like kind of minimalistic approach. So somebody who is hypnotizing the audience, capture the audience and stay focused on because Victoria is all about emotions. So Marvin is the right one to do it. And uh, he is the stage director for a Eurovision winner, Conchita, in 2014. Yeah, we know. You're going for the goal. <laughs> I think everybody who is in the contest is going for the goal, but yeah, we definitely would like to, to, to be the one who is um, winning people's hearts and uh, really winning uh, kind of, you know, all the fans just to be related to our story. So that's what we want. And then, yeah, yeah, let's, let's go for the best. The changes, the slightly changes on the song, like at the end uh, and the video creation, how was it? Uh, think it how how did you create that new version of the song uh, you know in this new normal we are all living in it's I think it makes many people think more thinking than just living because I think we were having quite a fast life and not so many of us were thinking okay how to live my life properly uh, do I do I respect everybody around me? Do I treasure my, you know, what I have, my values? So I think this last year really made all of us thinking about our real values. And with the story we want to tell people is just, let's think about our family, about roots, about the real things in life, because that's what we belong. And uh, it's good to pay respect and to say, I love you to the people. Love you, Diego. I just met you, but I really love you. <laughs> and, you know, it's good to say I love you to the people who really deserve it. And uh, it's a fantastic story. And I really i am so happy that, uh, we, especially with the little Vicky and with the little one we played around, I hope many people will relate that uh, it's all about family and it's all about the best, like the castle you belong. So I think it's really a good story. And I hope the people will relate to it. We feel we feel really close to Victoria when she sings her songs. How is it <laughs> touching to you, like personally? I remember in the like five years ago when I first really heard about Victoria in the X Factor in Bulgaria. I remember that the next week I couldn't stop watching all the videos. <laughs> <laughs> you know, X Factor videos in the when she was performing. She's just capturing, little. she's hypnotizing. So she has this magnificent voice. And I said, wow, this girl is really having something. So that's how she really attract my attention. And I think she's attracting attention to many people like this because she's very pure. She's very honest. She's just saying, that's me. I mean, and that's what I am. She's not uh, trying to be superficial or just trying to put something extra. She's just speaking about the real things in life. And I think this is 
very very important especially nowadays when we all facing this crazy situation we're all living in are you taking victoria in the international scene <laughs> definitely this is our goal and you know i'm um, i'm a person who always uh, strikes for the best because i was an international athlete so I'm a very fast runner, you know, I was oh, really? 100 meters, I was the fastest woman at my, I'm not saying my age, <laughs> the fastest woman in Bulgaria, right? So I said, okay, Vicky, we need to compete here because we, I would like to take you to the world stage and for you to show what Bulgaria can give to the world. That's, so that's why we are here in Eurovision. Thank you very much. Please send a message to Eurovision fans and, uh, you know, Eurovision lovers. <laughs> So, hi guys, uh, so hi from Bulgaria, we are, I hope we, you like our entry, so don't be disappointed, these fans who are, you know, supporting the other songs, we just want to show you that uh, we want to show you what we can do best this year, and that just say hi to your mother, to your father, to the parents, because to your family, because they won't live forever. So just let's relate it because we're all family and we need to show our love to the people. And I hope that uh, you like our entry and I, I hope we touch your heart. So be with us and all the way from Bulgaria. Thank you very much. <laughs>